truckers and truck drivers in Iran are on national strike and this strike has been going on for a few days. It's a continuation of previous strikes where demands were not met and it has now extended to over 280 cities. Absolutely, and it's magnificent. Other people are joining them and, and, and expressing the solidarity. But the key demands of the um, uh, strikers and tr um, uh, drivers are uh, re revision of the, uh, the, uh, the wages and the income which falls below uh, uh, poverty line in Iran. These are hard-working people, the whole of the Iranian economy uh, dependent on the movement of goods across the country and the situation is really really bad they, the amount of money that they've, they've given for uh, for transportation it's it, compared to the cost of replacement maintenance gasoline and and other expenditure is just they, they, they're left with nothing and this is the third round of strikes mm. uh, in, in the last 12 months they've, uh, they've, they've had and the demands is met with complete silence and lies and promises that has never been uh, uh, fulfilled. And this is within a context where the Iranian currency has lost its value significantly. So, you know, prices are skyrocketing. Things are becoming four, five, sixfold uh, in a matter of weeks and days, whilst wages remain under the poverty line. So this is a problem not just for the truck drivers, but for the wider society as well. Yeah, and examples are many examples that drivers are driving because they have to sort of have income. They're driving on. Uh, with half-torn tires and they can't and they're risking their lives and there's so many accidents taking place because they can't afford to replace the tires for example or maintain the, uh, the cars uh, and the trucks and uh, added to that the, the, the bribery of the distribution of loads at the uh, um, uh, loading base in different cities it's it's crazy and the slummies and these you know million you know, all the institution of Islamic government have control of that the distribution of tires and sort of replacement uh, and repairs is at the, ha at the at the hand of the Islamic sort of institutions mm -hmm. and they are driving people's life to such level they're just impossible to survive and they find them all the time they, they, they don't have any uh, um, uh, safe uh, um, uh, tires for example and they get stopped and the find and find and, and find all the time so they, they've had it they, they've had it up to here this is three rounds they've, they've, they've tried and they've now gone on national strike which to some extent is a bit sad to see people sort of have to respond uh, to this situation but the same shot shows that the only way to confront the Islamic regime is by mass national strike mm. to push them away and, and Im impose the demands on the on the government. And it's hugely important obviously because it is a national strike and it follows a national strike in Kurdistan uh, over the execution of three young wonderful young men um, but also you know you've got other sections of the society and the working class showing their support and solidarity in including the teachers, for example, uh, as well as uh, retired groups and other uh, various uh, workplace uh, uh, unions and, and of, the, of the sort. And of course, you know, this is within a context, don't forget, where striking is considered haram mm -hmm. or uh, uh, religiously impermissible by the government, where, for example, uh, the right to association is not uh, a basic right for workers, where labor leaders are often arrested, imprisoned, tortured, even flogged and we see as a result of this strike you've got 150 um, truck drivers who've been arrested uh, and also the government has threatened uh, some with execution even mm -hmm. saying that you know they shouldn't be striking so within this context this national strike is of immense importance yeah, absolutely the judiciary uh, um, and uh, I think prosecution office the Islamic regime is threatened and they use the Islamic law to say anybody who makes the uh, um, uh, network of roads insecure within the Islamic law the, uh, the punishment is death and, uh, and execution and actually threatened to kill and execute uh, uh, striking tri truck drivers who try to uh, prevent movement of trucks and loading uh, at the loading base. And the response to this has been uh, outrage within Iranian society and everybody is trying to support him. The demands of the truck drivers, it, there is a huge link between their strike and the demands of the rest of the Iranian society and other industries in Iran. And of course there's been some great support internationally as well, the Teamsters, uh, 
the um, uh, truck work uh, drivers in the Netherlands, for example, uh, there have been support internationally. And of course, we need to keep the support, increase it. Uh, you know, the truck drivers have to have unconditional support uh, in Iran, outside Iran. And also, we have to demand unequivocally that those who've been arrested be released and their demands be met. Yeah, I should add that the International Federation of uh, uh, transport unions, transport workers unions have expressed solidarity with the truck drivers in Iran, but that needs to be extended. Other uh, um, trade unions internationally, they need to put pressure on the Islamic regime of Iran to recognize the rights uh, of the uh, uh, drivers and the rest of the Iranian uh, society because Islam and Islamic government in Iran is life on the poverty line and imprisonment and execution. That's the reality of uh, and, and the meaning of a, a religious Islamic government in Iran. Now, of course, Ayatollah Khamenei, as usual, has blamed foreign enemies for the strike and for what's happened. We know very clearly that the main enemy of the Iranian people is the regime itself. And of course, you have others here uh, who are concerned rightly about uh, U.S. militarism and uh, intervention and its economic sanctions, which are hurting the people of Iran as well. Uh, but nonetheless, they're trying to protect the Iranian regime by saying these are just normal economic strikes that take place in every country and they're, they're not political, they're not against the regime. Mm -hmm. But clearly we know if anyone has any understanding of the society in Iran, we know very clearly that, uh, you know, uh, Economic demands are very much linked to political demands and uh, very often we see that these slogans develop into anti-regime slogans. Absolutely. The, the condition of the working class in Iran and the economic condition of the working class in Iran, working people in Iran, is because of the Islamic regime and its capitalist and neoliberal policies, but is, is you know intertwined with the Islamic regime of Iran and the and the religious laws. This is, is made life impossible for uh, for people of Iran. So you, is, you just uh, um, state that is, is economic situation. So economy needs to be resolved, and the Islamic regime as you know could remain. It's a foolish. Uh, and, and where do uh, workers and labor leaders get flogged? Where do they get executed? You know, if you're you're comparing it with normal working uh, class sort of uh, protests, uh, it, it's very clear that there's huge oppression and defending the regime is something that is abhorrent, as is defending U.S. militarism uh, or the economic sanctions. I think there is another way, a third way, which is defending the working class in Iran, defending the people of Iran, uh, you know, and not either the Iranian regime or uh, U.S.-led militarism. Those are not the solutions. These protests in Iran, on the back of the working class, are the real solution for change in society in Iran. And anyone who has concern for people in Iran need to support these protests. As we said earlier, the tactic of the Islamic regime has been to threaten them, to imprison over 150 truck drivers. It's organized has been uh, have been arrested, uh, and one of the demands of the truck drivers is the uh, um, uh, colleagues and uh, friends to be freed, and we need to uh, uh, support that demand. That the these are political prisoners; they must be freed, along with other political prisoners in Iran. Uh, we must support the truck drivers' the strike, and we urge all our viewers and our friends everywhere to uh, organize uh, solidarity with the truck drivers in Iran. That's the best thing you could do for people of Iran. And Middle East. So, so show your solidarity. Long live the strike of the truck drivers in Iran. <laughs>